All right, first cab off the rank is messy. What's going on, mate? I've got some food here for you. He's looking pretty good. He's been eating a lot of food, you can see, so I've been uh, making sure there's plenty in here for him. He's looking, he really likes that safflower. Hey, I'm going to see if I can hand feed you. Come on, are you that tame yet? Come on. No, he's not interested. Yeah, okay, take that. But making progress, which is really good to see. You can see oh, he's flicking stuff everywhere. His little messy one. He just picks out basically the safflower and the vetch at the moment, which, oh, you know, he can do whatever he wants until he gets his condition back on. But he does really like that vetch, which is the black seed, the bigger black one in there. And um, safflower. See how he goes. Keeping a very close eye on him, keeping him updated with you guys because um, you know, I'm pretty happy how he's turning out. He's quite a friendly little bird now and he's definitely got all his energy back. You can see he's got a couple of little droppings there too that are quite good. But um, he's very curious. But he's definitely good. There's a little bit of puffiness at the back there starting to slowly go down. And um, you know, I reckon a few more days and... We can probably get him in there with the other ones, which is um, what my main goal is, really. We might get the birds out for a fly, too. We'll just stick your beak in here and see if Big Leo's made any progress. This hen's just really difficult. Like, it takes a while to pair up, and then when she's paired up, she's not really interested in laying eggs. And I do want to get some eggs out of her, at least one round. Like, I want to make sure that um, you know she's not a dud and she actually will breed. So I'm definitely trying. Um, we had her with a younger male last time. This time we got her with uh, Big Leo. He's really annoying when it comes to pairing up. Because he just does not shut up. He just makes noise all day, all night. And um, yeah, hopefully that's what she needs. Hopefully he just needs to be annoyed that much. That she's like, fine, let's just have some eggs. We'll poke our head in here as well. Because there is update. There's always updates. I'll tell you, it just doesn't stop around here at the moment. So we've got a lot of pairs going on in here. I'll just sit this to the side for the second. So everything's doing pretty well. We might have a look at those in a moment, but we'll go to the more exciting things. Come on, where's my egg? I'm still waiting from you. Come on, I've only got one round out of you so far. So these little guys caught me right off guard because I thought um, these weren't gonna hatch so soon. Well, look at this little one there already and by the looks of it it's looking like another mealy and this one's hatching as well so that will probably come out tomorrow at some point but look at this little guy here he actually might even be quite pied look at that he might darken up but he could be like a really really white who knows i'm not normally there's a bit more maroney color burgundy color on that beak for a red like a the ash red so it's gonna be interesting to see what comes out of this little guy It'd be interesting if you got something a little bit different it is still a little bit easy early to tell but um let's just have a look and see just be gentle here see if his little feet they are all pink generally birds with a lot of white on them will have that because if you get pies or things like that you'll get little specks of black or you're getting you know the black coloring in there as well darker coloring but there's not so oh this could be very interesting there is um pied in these birds in their background so that genetically they do carry it so um it'd be interesting to see if that one does come out it might just darken up maybe it's just a really light colored i'm not really sure so we'll leave King alone, but uh, I'm pretty excited those eggs hatched, and that's looking really, really good, whatever that is in that little um, nest bowl there. And uh, and Apache has normal. He's always a bit of a show-off. He's getting a bit jealous when I didn't come to his box first. He was getting, he gets a bit funny. He sort of struts around his box and fluffs himself up, and he has a bit of a peek around the corner and stuff like that. Um, and then he gets back in his bowl. He's pretty funny. You're carrying on a bit too. Have you got, you want some attention. Best hen, she's looking pretty good. I, you know, she's looking clean and neat and quite healthy, which is really good to see. Um, I don't have any doubts to think anything else, but she's just a really good looking hen. 
big and strong, which is good to see. She's got some eggs there, but we'll probably head out of here. Um, those are the main little updates for in here. We've got some other eggs that should be hatching soon as well. Um, I tried letting these guys out before. didn't really work too well. The hen was a bit of a problem, but the cockbird was in and out. He knew what to do. So I'll try again in a couple of days. So there's a group of them up having a bit of a fly. Still got stragglers here and there everywhere, but um, they're starting to get the gist of it. The main flock of them is pretty good. But the rest of them are still sort of trying to keep up and catch up with everyone. So a couple of weeks and we should be there. making the most of these cooler days where we can actually get the birds out for a fly it's quite um, gusty today so the temperature's down a little bit but it's meant to climb back up to the mid 30s so that's um just too hot for my birds i don't like it especially trying to get these young ones up flying so trying to get them out every afternoon don't do the mornings anymore it's just too hard with the falcons and plus we've got time anyway we don't need to push them too hard just yet. I just want to get them all flocking together, trapping, and, and um, you know, just getting the gist of it. And closer to the season, we'll start getting them pushing a bit harder. But we're just taking it easy now. We'll just get those birds up and moving. Because so I've still got um, probably half as much as what we've got there yet to fill up in the other section as well. But at least we've got this main 40 birds or so working pretty well well as well as they do because i just seen two almost hit each other <laughs> oh, young birds all right so it's good to see that we've got rosetta back down she's got her two eggs going these guys are so close to weaning out too which is really good to see uh, really nice babies these two still waiting on you what are you doing i feel like she's been hanging around the nest for a lot lately but haven't really seen too much action usually she's pretty good on the laying so i'll um, we'll have to keep an eye on her she's probably just a bit slower this time and these ones are chipping along quite nicely if, uh, we have candled them and they are fertile and the same with candling these ones as well these are fertile so that's really good to see um join the babies that are coming out of those birds all right come here i need to get in here a little bit of cleaning but um done something to my back and it's um everything's really difficult at the moment so i'll have to get in here in the next couple of days and have a good clean mom come on they're all a little bit shy got these ones here eating pretty well too which is good to see i had them having a little bit of a snack this morning so uh it's good to see that they're eating pretty well because i've only just come in here yesterday and uh, they're really nice birds. I'm interested to see how these ones turn out. They're both their brothers and sisters are really nice. So hopefully they um, follow path. These ones are a little bit medium and a little bit solid compared to the other ones. So these are going to be fair old little beefcakes, I think. All the other ones are doing pretty well in here. Come on. All right. Bring him in. Come on. Yeah, mom. They're a little bit slower in trapping when it's a bit hot like this because they um, like to land and have a little bit of a pant and a little bit of a stretch of their wings. Come on. Yeah, mom. Come on. I don't know what those couple are doing on the roof there. I don't know if the wind's blowing them across. They've just been crazy. Cockbirds, I think. Young cocks just been crazy. Come on. You know the rules now. If you're slow, you're going to miss out. The naughty ones do anyway. Which is good. We keep them in line. This first bunch, especially these young cocks, I tell you. Look at this one here. Come on. He's driving the hen that he's paired up with. He, he's probably going to push it away. Come on, little white face. Come on. I think that's nearly all of them. 
Come on. Come on. You're being a bit silly and you can. Come on. Oh, well, there's one more black one. Of course there's always those black ones. I tell you, they've been a bit cheeky this year. Come on. Come on. You've been a bit cheeky. Let's go. Come on. All right. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. We're trying to get all these birds working. Slowly getting there. Got the last little group. Get them all whipped together.